So when I'm planing an angle, I drop the blade, keep the plane on the wood, but the blade isn't cutting or pulling on the surface. So I can come all the way back. Try it, it's a comfortable way of doing it. You're just dropping the plane back up to the angle. I'll pull the blade back so you can listen to it. So I'll do some more of the same and then I'll do one where I'll just drag it back. See how quiet it is. get in there just check the angle right I need to over, go over a bit more so I'll hold it there go over a bit more and the thing is with this you can adjust the angle easier because you're you're higher if you do it like that you've got a narrow bit to adjust the angle but if you do it like that you have more control it's looking good here Looking pretty good there. Bit more off the top now. So I'm using the bottom part of the blade where it's curling. So this is where I've got to, um, tops on, bottoms on, sapwood at the front, sapwood at the front, cathedrals all looking good, cathedrals, there's hardly any other on there, but that's the wood, so it's looking really good. So what I'm doing now is I'm drawing around this. I've just, let me move this out of the way and show you. So here's the, here's the drawing on here. I've just gone from this point here, which is the middle of the front of the base. And I've just got back to that little dot there, which is the center for the curvature that runs around the back. So what I'm doing is I'm mark, making a template of this now. Uh, the back panel's done, here it is. The underside panel's done, so that will go there. Yes, it needs to be shown. But before I cut that out, before I cut that out, I want to prove this works. And actually what I want to do is, I don't want this straight, I want this slightly curved. I want it to come, that's what I'd like to do. Why? I don't know, I just feel like, but anyhow, get this out of the way. I'm gonna cut this out now. 
I'm going to be able to put it on here. I'm going to drop it in location there and work out where my pin is to hold for that part of the unit to turn. That's made. That's got to work. Around here is still in my head how I'm going to do that. But it'd be great to put a pin in there, see how it all moves and see how this works here. But more especially, especially here. What's the corner of this cabinet going to do in relation to this? How's the pin going to work? I don't know yet. Let's cut that out and see. Just use the jigsaw to cut that out and now you'll see that that goes on there and it's starting to come together. Cabinet thing. How cool is that? If you've ever got to fit something into the base, chances are you'll you'll get concerned about how good the fit is around here. What I did was I got this piece of wood, I drew around it on the sheet, and then I cut out to the black line and I cut slightly oversized so it doesn't fit exactly, but to make sure I don't get into trouble, there's a tiny, tiny little rebate all around here. Just run the route around, same thickness as that. It now means that that fits and there's a bit of leeway. It means it sits in there and I don't have to worry about any gaps because it's tucked underneath. Don't tell anyone. Should show you. I've got um, I've got three lines. What three centers? I've got one that's the center to be exactly the same as that. Another center is wider than that. One side of that, and the other center is the other side of that. That's to make it more oval. You'll see why in a bit. Right, big glue up. So I've got the base on now, so I've trimmed up all these edges, I've trimmed up all of these on the bottom, I've sanded, got quite a nice, look at this corner joint, it's not bad, anyhow that's on now, we know where this is going now because it's all marked up, that's got to be shaped and have stuff done to it, but it's all, it's all routed on the inside, it's all rounded, so as the tube comes inside and goes round there's no it's not going to get damaged off that. Same radius on here, three mil. Well, this is three mil both sides, so it's quite a soft, quite a soft edge. So uh, yeah, that's it. It's cramped up for today. Lots of cramps on the on the bottom here because this is creating this the thicker bottom. It's trapped. So basically, I've got a piece like this inside the other side of the box which is fixed to the box, sorry. So basically it traps the back. It's like doing a housing joint for the back. Um, the grain direction's all thought out, so that's great. Um, so yeah, I'm creating joints without actually doing the joints. It takes longer, but you know what? I'm gonna get a pretty robust job, so I'm happy with it. Better than, it's better laminated up this way than jointing and risking it moving later. So that's my philosophy there, that's one thing thinking but uh, yeah it's looking really cool when you get around here because of the angle of that piece of wood the round on on this piece here is it will line up with that tree so yeah looking good hot weather so uh, it's boiling out there so that's it for today what's that four o'clock saturday yeah i've got to go Where it's extended, so it's extended this way and that way, it's a bit of a flat there, so I'm just adding a bit more shape to that. Not much more, just a bit.
Don't about it. Right, okay, I've got some tape holding that. That's that's what I want to do. That's at an angle. You'll see why in a sec. Let me just show you it work. It's only taped in place. But anyhow, the idea is it's an elongated hole. So it needs to be elongated, not for that bit, but for that bit. And then when it drops down into place, do you want to have a look? When it drops down into place, see there's hardly any gap. So that's the plan. So now it's it's tight within there. It's not going to move. It only needs the oval to come out. So it's fixed. So that's great. And it just shows you what has to happen to get it out. So I'll try and do it now without... So that... You see, the thing is, this automatically, as you hold on to that, it automatically goes at an angle. So if you put it in at that angle, and you take it through the hole, kick the bottom over, until, doing this one-handed with a camera, until that's in there, then this now, again, is hugging the, is hugging the tube. What do you think? Like it? Fun and games. It's going to be good. And I've been on this today for this. This is a um, Pyeongchang Winter Paralympic Games and this lifts like that. And that's what I'm work I've been working on today. Sorting all that out, cleaning it all up, and I've got my plank ready to cut tomorrow because this is a corner cabinet and I'm making I'm starting to make the door frame tomorrow, door frames tomorrow. So yeah, good day. So I'm getting on with this and I'm I'm having fun with that. So this is a pain in the flipping neck. So let's just show you what's going on. This has got a nice gap underneath it. But the way that gap, that timber works, is if I put it where it's going to go, which is there, if I hold that tight, look at the gap there, it's twice as much. And you're thinking, oh, blimey, the gap's twice as much. But actually, when I pull those two together, it'll straighten. So what's happening is one, one of these is bending one way and, the other, and this side's bending the other. By the time they will laminate glue together, it'll make a lamination. It'll make a strong strip. It will be glued up, most likely on the edge of here. So as it's gluing and drawing, it's on a straight surface. And that will give me, start my frame off and be, my frame will be square. So the first thing I've got to do is make a pattern. Right, so right hand side, which is this one. That drawing around that makes that 68.2. And the reason I know that is because I set that up to the angle and then put that against there. And then I've set that up. That brings it out at 68.2, which is great. But I need the other bit, I'm just off the saw, I don't need the 68, I need to know what the 21.8, because this goes the other way. It goes from zero to 45, so I need the opposite angle. Anyhow, it's, um, it's 21.8, and it looks like my saw needs, before I do anything, I think I need to get some dust out of that. Right, okay, clean that out, then could set it up 21.8. 
Okay, so I've had to take the front off and, and I've got bits of wood. This is just a couple of what was left in it that had blocked right down the bottom. So I've cleaned all that out. So now I'm happier because down there, it's a pain in the neck where it goes from that down to the Jubilee clip because it funnels down. If a piece of wood gets stuck in there, it doesn't do a good job. And as you can see, it's not doing a brilliant job. So it needs backing out, but I'm not doing that now. I'm going to sort the angles out because I can't do it now because it's full and I don't want to make another bag up because this one's full so I've got to make those to empty that to then put that into there I've got 15 of those bags I'm not getting that in a situation again where I've got so much of that no I'll get this cut done I'll get on with that once those are glued in place and once I, once I know where they are and I've, I can cramp them up then in that drying time i make those. Right, let's set this back up. Right, set it up. First one looks really good. Bang on the line, just got to cut that bit off down there towards, towards my nail, just got to chop that off now. But I think before I cut that off, I'm going to set it up for the other one because the other one is isn't exactly the same, it's 68 point something else. So I'm gonna set it up for left hand now. Fraction in it, it I don't know why, it's, it happens sometimes. There's only a fraction in it. So um, I wanna set them up so I know they're bringing back to the same angle so that it's, I know that when it gets to this front frame, it's all hunky-dory. So yeah, let's get the other one sorted. And this is how I have to set it up to get the angle. And I said it was a fraction out, 68.3, so it's 68.2 one side and 68.3. And yet it just feels more than 1.1 1 1 of a degree out, but that's, I suppose that's perfectionist for you. Right, there you go, 68.3, need to write that down. Got it, now I've got to set the saw up for that. And, and that's, that's not easy to do, because I'm saying it's, 21.7 on here I'm having to look where the pointer is to guess so it's only a fraction under but oh yeah look it's all cleaned out looks great doesn't it right let's sort this out right that's it bit of cleaning up to do Bit of tidying up to do, but basically they sit like that. I know it's not straight, so don't judge me, but the timbers are, as you've seen, bow both ways. Right, that's looking really good. I'm pleased with that. Might have a little bit to plane off one world here, but that's here or there, but that's fine, that's fine. It means that this becomes square and I can join in this bottom rail and then I can make the door. So yeah, pleased with that. <laughs> 